It's been a while since I just made my last video. It's been about an hour. Uh, tidied up the tent, got things sorted out. Uh, got my laundry together. I'm gonna go over and do my laundry. I'll do that later this afternoon. fire is almost done so I can extinguish that make sure it's safe um, yeah coffee's done <laughs> my third cup of coffee Ugh. god it's a beautiful day out here Bambi's resting. Oh yes. <laughs> Hi sweetie. <laughs> oh, I got some groceries. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you all. Good friend of mine. Uh, <sighs> this is the good stuff. I think I'm gonna have a little drink. <sighs> no, I'm not back into my drinking stage. For those that know me know I used to drink uh, very, very heavily. <laughs> oh. It's not bad. 80 proof. Well, it's French. Uh, French vodka. Very expensive, by the way. He brought it up uh, <coughs> last night, and as you can see, what a hell of a dent in it. Those that know me know I drink my liquor straight from the bottle or pour it in the cup. I don't mix it with coffee and all that crap because it ruins it. Uh, hold on. Now that is a waker upper. Ah, good stuff. I uh, I enjoy a nice strong drink now and then. It helps take the edge off. Uh, for those that know me, Margaret, Lisa. You know how I drink. Uh, I'm Irish Italian, so obviously I can drink like a fish. Um, damn, that tastes like another one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Spilled a few drops. Damn it, that's alcohol abuse. Good stuff. She's got a kick to her. Well, while we're at it, we might as well finish it off, huh? Well, boys, girls, cheers.
That will help me get through the rest of the afternoon. Oh, and uh, Nick, that reminds me of a video I posted uh, about Bam Bam. Um, there are going to be times where I'm going to come down there and visit you folks. Um, and if I do choose to drink, do yourself a favor, kiddo. And I don't mean to be mean, but Margaret, Lisa, you both know what I'm talking about. Uh, Nick, if you try to drink with me don't try to keep up with me because I guarantee you'll either end up in the hospital or dead uh, I'm Irish Italian I've been drinking all my life so do yourself a favor just be responsible don't try to impress me don't try to keep up with me um, because I assure you you cannot drink anywhere near as much as I can and I'm not bragging I'm just telling you because I know you like to uh, impress your friends and you like to fit in. Well, I tell you what, kiddo, you know, your family, and I'm gonna tell you straight up, and I don't give a fucking rat's ass who likes what I'm about to say or not. Be who you are. If people can't accept you for who you are, walk away from them. Because they're not really a friend if they have conditions attached. I'm telling you straight up, be who you are. Don't try to impress me. You know, I love you, straight up, your family, and, I mean, what you just saw me do right there, that's a prime example. I mean, I could do that all day, straight up, all day. Um, there's a few videos online of me drinking, uh, I'm not proud of them, um, but it shows me popping back. 12 pack and then three or four forties and then a bottle of vodka and a bottle of whiskey and some jag all within a half hour you know just one after the other just pounding them and I was completely sober um, so please don't try to keep up with me I prefer you didn't drink at all but I'm not gonna sit here and condemn you if you do because quite frankly what I just did contradicts that statement don't it all right well anyways um, I'm sorry folks I'm not trying to make this a drinking video I just wanted to let people know I have my faults I don't hide my faults I'm very straightforward about it sometimes that offends people and I can't apologize for that I don't hide the fact that I grew up an alcoholic I grew up on the friggin streets folks I grew up in the Bronx I was thrown away as a kid I was abused I was sexually molested by family um, so as you can see, uh, you know, there was a lot of pain in my life. Hold on. That's a beautiful bird right there. That's the thing about me being out here in the wilderness. Animals come right up to me. I mean, these birds come within that coffee length away from me. Um, There's another one. Yeah, that's a chickadee. That's the main state bird, chickadee. <laughs> if I do this, it'll come forward. There we go. I don't know if you can see it. It's going back and forth, branch to branch. But seriously, I mean. me drinking and me being out here alone yeah people may say that's kind of not a good idea but if you grew up the way I grew up and you lived the circumstances I lived uh, you'd understand what I'm talking about you see me laughing and posting a lot of videos and rambling and yapping and yapping and yapping never shut my mouth but you don't understand that that's my way of dealing with a lifetime of pain so now you all know it's I never revealed that before <laughs> and it's not the alcohol I just never revealed that before 
These videos, in essence, are my way of therapy. It helps me deal with the bullshit that I've had to endure. I'll give you a prime example. Margaret and Kelly, you both know what I'm talking about. You, you know it for a first hand. When I was seven years old, on my birthday, I come home from school. My dad was in the living room. I walked in. I said, Dad, can I have my present? He walked up to me and he said, Yep, I have your present right here. Son, I love you. And instantaneously, he punched me and broke my jaw in three places. And I ended up in the hospital for five days. So that was my love-hate relationship with my father. My mother was afraid of my father, so she wasn't able to defend me. She basically uh, turned her back because she was petrified of my father. My father beat the crap out of her more than once. Do I hate my mother? No, I don't hate her. I don't hate anyone. Well, there's two people in my life that I hate. And I'm just going to be honest with you. I hate the person I was in the past. And I hate the United States federal government for what they're doing to us, especially the veterans. That's another thing. Here in Maine, I noticed a lot of veterans who put their life on the line and even lost uh, big portions of their life fighting for the freedoms that we have, the freedom that I have to be out here, the freedom that I have to drink and not have to worry about being shot, the freedom I have of owning a pet without worrying about going to prison. They fought for the freedom of us being free. So they come back to the United States stateside and they go to the hospital and they get their wounds treated and their PTSD and they say, hey, you know, I did what you told me to do and now I'd like to sign up for veterans benefits and you know what? The fucking government slaps them across the face and says, oh no, oh no, we can't do that. You're capable of working. Uh, yeah, you just got your leg blown off by a landmine and you just got half your skull removed by a sniper's bullet. But yeah, you can sweep floors, so no, we're going to deny your benefits. And that's fucking bullshit. That is absolutely fucking bullshit. I've seen so many veterans right downtown Bangor, right here, who are living day by day on food stamps, going to general assistance and getting help paying their rent, who have to go to hand-me-downs, five-and-dimes, thrift stores, Salvation Armies, to get clothing, who literally are living in a one-room squat. Why? Because the government won't help them. So when I say I hate the United States federal government, I don't hold that a secret. And I'm going to do something that will probably make a lot of people pissed, but I don't care. To the United States federal government, fuck you because you're destroying people's lives, the veterans who need the benefits, you're denying. So like I said, there are two people I hate, the person I was and the United States federal government. And no, I'm not drunk, trust me on that. Those that know my political viewpoints know that that's the way I am. I, I don't like the government. Do I believe in terrorist attacks? No, of course not. You uh, terrorize my country, the United States, or you burn my flag, the American flag, um, or you go to a veteran cemetery and you vandalize the cemetery, um, and if I see you, you're going to deal with me. I'm just a little teeny guy, but I'm like a stick of dynamite. And, you know, I love my country. I just hate the government, because the government is trying to control the government, the country. You get the picture. I gotta stop talking about that, because I'm winding myself up. Alright, I'm gonna let this video stop, and uh, see if I can do some more work. Um, again, I'm not trying to be mean to people, I'm not trying to be vulgar or vile. 
There are just some things in my life that I believe in and some things I don't believe in. I don't believe in terrorism. I don't believe in burning the flag. I don't believe in disrespecting the veterans. And uh, those that do, uh, stay the fuck away from me. Simple as that. All right, everybody. Catch you later.